unhappiness and the mind excerpt from beyond the horizons of the mind remember unhappiness depends on the frame of your mind if you are unhappy that simply means that you have learned the ways of being unhappy and nothing else you have chosen to be unhappy unhappiness depends on the frame of your mind there are people who are unhappy in all kinds of situations they have a certain inner quality that transforms everything into unhappiness if you tell them about the beauty of the rose they immediately start talking and remembering the thorns if you say to them the morning is so beautiful or what a sunny day they will start looking at you as if they are surprised by your statement they will say so what one day between two dark nights it is only one day between two dark nights so what is the big deal and why are you looking so fascinated the same thing can be seen from a positive reference as well then suddenly each night is surrounded by two days and then suddenly it is a miracle that a delicate flower is possible among so many thorns everything is the same all depends on what kind of frame of mind or understanding you are carrying millions of people are carrying crosses naturally obviously they are burdened their life is a drag their frame is such that it immediately becomes focused on everything that is negative it magnifies the negative it is a melancholic and pathological approach towards life but they go on thinking what can we do the world is such certainly not the world is not such the world is absolutely neutral it has thorns roses nights days the world is utterly neutral and balanced it is a blend of all it depends on as to what you choose if you have decided to choose only the wrong you will live in a wrong gloomy and miserable world this is how you will live in your self chosen world of negation this is how people create hell and heaven on the same earth it looks very unbelievable that buddha krishna and jesus lived on this earth with the same kind of people they never complained there was total acceptance but they lived in paradise you also live on the same earth with the same kind of people and you live in hell every moment there is a complaint on your lips this brings two possibilities the political mind aspires to change the world the religious mind aspires to change the frame of your mind religion and politics are diametrically opposite there is a possibility one day of a meeting of science and religion sooner or later science and religion are bound to meet and merge into one another because their approach is very similar maybe their direction is different science searches the outer and religion the inner but the search the quality of the search remains the same in both cases the spirit of search is the same however there is no possibility of politics and religion meeting and merging into one another they are diametrically opposite and poles asunder they never meet politics always considers the world as wrong therefore it emphasizes is on changing the society the economic structure this and that and everything will be okay then says the politicians 
and religion says the world has always been the same and will remain the same. You cannot change the structure of the world or things. Neither Krishna nor Buddha nor Jesus changed that. The only thing they emphasized was the context of your mind, the space of your mind, the inner state of your mind and with that change the texture of your understanding changes and you begin to live in paradise instead of living in hell.